Hello! So this is what my hair looks like when I cannot find my straightener. It's just so fluffy these days. So let's pin this out of the way and then talk about my broken nail because it upsets me. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna moisturize our skin. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. This is new for me, but I am loving it. It's perfect for oily skin or makeup lovers because it absorbs quickly underneath so you can keep it moving. And it says that it will tighten your pores if you use it for 28 days. My pores have been getting so much smaller because I've been using this Kiehl's product. I'm not sure of the name, but check the bottom bar because if you have large pores, it is life changing so make sure you check down below for that next we're gonna move on and we're going to just prime no we're not we're going yeah we are we're gonna prime our lips i was gonna say our face the only thing i miss about long nails is putting on my lip mask so we're gonna add a little bit of that to keep the lips nice and moisturized and then i'm going to prime just because it's habit but i honestly feel like i could skip the primer now because my pores have shrunk it's crazy and for my foundation today, I'm gonna use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I love it because it's really full coverage, but it has a natural finish. It lasts like 12 hours, but it's really lightweight and moisturizing on the skin. And I just love the doe foot applicator. It's the bomb. And I also really like this foundation because it gives you a lot of time to play and blend. It's not quick drying, so you have a lot of time in there to get it perfect how you want it. And just keep in mind that the foundation may look a little bit dark when you first apply it but once it's blended and dried it should melt in and become your perfect foundation color so if you guys want to know a little more about the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation you can click the link in the bottom bar to give you more info and where to purchase On to brows, I'm gonna use these guys from Benefit. The first guy I'm gonna use is the Cabrow, which is just a gel cream brow color, and I'm gonna use this Goof Proof Brow Pencil as well. So to start, I'm gonna take the Cabrow, and it's cute, you just pop it off, your brush is in there, and it's just kinda like a pomade. And I'm gonna just use this to uh, carve out my brow, underline my brow, just, I like to use the darker shade here. And this is waterproof, so that's why I wanted to use this guy. And then I'm gonna go in and fill it in with the brow pencil this has to be the best brow pencil i've ever used it's so creamy and easy to use but it like won't slide all over your face like i don't even know how to explain it when this brow pencil comes out get it you need it trust me So now onto the eyes. I'm gonna use these custom enhancer drops from Cover FX in the color Celestial. It's just kind of like a liquid highlighter and I wanted to use this kind of as my base today for my shadows, just so any matte shadow I put on my lid kind of had like a little shimmery effect to it. So I'm gonna just pop this on all over and then we're gonna put a little bit of some highlight from the Anastasia Sun Dipped. This is in like the color tourmaline or I don't even know how to say it but you're not gonna really notice a difference because it kind of just blends with my skin tone but again I'm putting this on so any matte shadows that I put on will kind of have like a little shimmery kick to them so I was gonna try to avoid using the modern Renaissance palette but I I just can't resist I feel like this is my all-time favorite palette so I'm gonna use this kind of brownie shade and we're just going to work this on the outer corner of our eyes starting from our lash line and then working it up to our crease you know how I do it. I pack color on, blend it out, pack color on, blend it out, because like I said, it's just a lot easier to place color on your eyes than it is to take it off, right? Right. This is my face when I was trying not to use the palette, but I have to use that color again. It's called Tempera. I still wanna call it Tempera, but it's Tempera. And I honestly think that this is my favorite kind of inner lid color. It just makes everything blend so well and just adds like a nice brightness to that inner part. And then again, we're just packing color on. I switched to a 242 brush because in my opinion, this is the best pack on color brush ever. Um, so I just wanted that to be a little more intense and then make sure you blend out any harsh lines.
trying to find your mascara in a sea of makeup products and it just hides from you got it so i'm just adding mascara i think this is like a mary Kay mascara i'm not sure i just don't know where my voluminous is at the moment and for lashes today i'm going to use these 615s from salon perfect i like these lashes because it still allows you to see the eyeshadow that you have on your lids sometimes lashes can be a little too thick and you kind of lose everything behind there so that's why i went with these guys today and i mean i just love these so much uh... <laughs> And then moving on to concealer, I'm gonna use my Tarte Marajuka Creaseless Concealer again. I just love it so much, it's so bomb. So to clean up your eyeshadow, what I do is just draw a straight line right there on the edge. So if you're blending and your shadows are kind of just getting like all over the place, just keep in mind that your concealer will just clean that up. Just kind of create a nice sharp line right at the corner of your eye and drag it out towards your temples. And then just make sure you blend that line so it doesn't look you know, crazy and harsh up in there. Set my concealer. I'm using the one and only Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Nothing comes close to the setting powder. If you have not tried it, pause this and go get it because it's that good. Um, I just keep packing the powder on until I don't see any shininess underneath my eyes. Uh, that's how I know when there's enough powder underneath there. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And then to bronze up the face today, I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Cool Bronzer. I think that's the name. The real name will be in the bottom bar. There's a warmer one and a cooler one. I'm gonna go with the cooler tone today. And I just use a smaller brush at first and then go in with a bigger contour brush just to kind of blend out that harsh line. But by using the smaller brush, it just kind of helps me keep everything together and not bring my bronzer too low on my cheeks. And for a little bit of color on the cheeks, I'm gonna use Breath of Plum from MAC. And then you can take any kind of stippling brush to just melt that all together, blend your blush in with your under eye highlight and your bronzer, and now we're moving on to highlight. So I'm gonna use, I think this is Starburst um, from the Gleam Kit. And this is a Morphe brush, I'm not sure the number, but I'll put it in the bottom bar for you guys. I like this brush a lot for putting on highlight because it's just so fluffy. So you get like this really pretty glow and it's never like too intense, like my nose highlight is about to be. But if ever your highlight is just too crazy, you can just take a damp beauty blender and pounce that over your skin to kind of tone it down and the nose, it needed it. Mm -hmm. Since my collarbone was just hanging out, I decided to give it a little highlight, make it pop. Then from the Gleam Glow Kit, I'm gonna take Crushed Pearl and use that for my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight. And why is my mouth always open, like what? And then taking that same brown color, which I think is called Cypress Umber, we're just gonna drag a little bit of this underneath our lash line to kind of balance out our heavy lashes. Then you can go ahead and coat your lashes with mascara. When I wear these 615s, I like to put on a lot of mascara. I just think it makes the lashes look better. And then of course, go ahead and hit your lower lashes with mascara as well. But you know, I can't ever do that on camera because I need to be one inch away from the mirror. <laughs> 
And then we're almost done. The last thing that we have to do is our lips. So I'm gonna line mine with Urban Decay's 1993 lip liner. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to use from House of Dolls. It's in the color She. I really love this color. It's like just a really pretty nude. Um, but I want my nude to be a little more nudey. So I will be applying some concealer, but just blend everything out with your finger so that that kind of, your lip liner just kind of melts into your lips, especially if you open overline them a little bit like I do. So I use the concealer because I just have no clue where any of my super nude lipsticks are at the moment. And this just kind of does the same thing. And this is how I blend them all together. So once that is complete, you can add a gloss. I'm just gonna use a clear gloss from Galactic. And then once that is on, this look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be in LA this week, so I'm gonna vlog. Hopefully I'll get some good footage and have that up for you guys. So I love you, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.